We had we, we had a little we had a little issue. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get I gotta get situated. I'm all discombobulated here. Oh yeah, it's all right. We got it. My, my front wheel started smoking. That's what we heard. About 17 miles out of t out of the thing there. Oh my God! Are you guys oh okay? My God. Yeah, so we just don't know what's wrong. We've had some issues. I smell oh burnt. I smell burnt. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Mariel. And I'm Walter. We are at an end cap here at Elm River Campground. Uh Ponderosa. Oh, Ponder. I don't know. You'll have to edit this. It's Ponderosa Pines or something like that. Are you sure there was Elm River? Uh, we'll go get the piece of paper. We're getting the piece of paper to see where we're at. We don't know where we're at. Ponderosa. Okay, I guess I guess it's Ponderosa. Hi. I'm Walter from Wandering Wanda, and this is... Ariel. And we're at Ponderosa Pines Campground. Okay, we're in end cap. We have the cone here, because our awning is right here, and we don't want people there. What's nice about this park is that it is actually, in Canada, 50 amps, <laughs> believe it or not. Water in, water out. Water pressure is wonderful. It was leveled left and right. <laughs> crazy people. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, look at that. They fancy. They have binoculars. Binoculars? Is that why you got mud all over you? That could be because I walked on the ocean floor. Oh. You gotta be prepared, so those won't work. No, we're not gonna wear these. We have mm -hmm. galoshes. We have galoshes. Galoshes. Or we have boots. Rubber boots. boots. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have mud boots. We were in Alaska. Well, we didn't need rubber boots or galoshes in Alaska. Well, when it rained, when it rained and chicken, they were so sure helpful. Well, I'm sure they were. Okay, come on. We. I'm not seeing any bugs right now. One point seven kilometers to parking lot. More stamina. Oh look, they already, they fell. already fell. Oh look, they already got mud. Ooh, okay, so clothes that you're gonna fall in tomorrow. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna slip and fall. We can plan to do laundry tomorrow. <laughs> and he's gonna slip and fall. He's gonna grab me and then I'm gonna go down with him. Perfect. <laughs> is that the that's, plan? That's, well, that's not what no, you're it's do. what will happen. You're not gonna fall. Yeah, you can just. It's not me to that's gonna gates. fall. It's slip him. and slide. No, but you go down slide. those steps. You go down <laughs> steps, and then you you're you're not gonna have to go down. Okay. Have like you seen ever ever seen a flat sidewalk? And, and, and we're not gonna. Oh, it falls on a flat. And, and we're not gonna have a one or two year old with us. No.
Just getting our exercise in. Uh, they're bird watching. And then Carla and a few people, they walked on the seabed already. Yeah, they were all muddy. But they walked all the way there and back. So now the new instruction that wasn't there earlier in red says fantasy name badge is your park pass today and tomorrow. Okay. So that is the new instruction I didn't take a picture of earlier because it wasn't there. Okay. That's why it's in red. That's why it's in red. Yeah. Enter bus gate. 8 and 8.30. Oh, between 8 and 8.30ish. Okay, we need to get there before 8.30ish. Oh, you got some mud on your truck. Oh, your truck got dirty. Oh, you have a lawn bed. Huh? I didn't realize you had a lawn bed. Yeah. You've only parked next to us how many times? <laughs> well, I've never looked at it. <laughs> look at the front. But look at the front. Oh, you can take off that yellow sticker from the crazy lady on the park. These are nice long sites. Look at how long the site is. Yeah. We've got room for the whole A class. Another A class you here. Room for two of them if you yeah. the hookups that you need to get. I like this park. Okay, we would stay here again, so it's a yes. I mean look how long these sites are. They're wonderful. Yeah, 50 amps, water in the water out. Starlink works perfectly. And if you were to back in, this is the driver's side. Is it the driver's side? No, it's the blind side. Oh, it's the blind side. I don't like this when they do it this way. Hello, we only have five days left. Now I'm actually beginning to recognize <laughs> whose coach is coach. To starting to, coach ma is who? starting to match up rigs with people. I, I still have a hard time with a lot of them. To me, they're all eight. Morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, that looks like our name tag. <laughs> I think that is our name tag. How about both? <laughs> Anyway, now well, welcome to the Hopewell Rocks. Great morning, and it's going to be a great day to take a walk on our ocean floor. My name is Heather. This is my fourth summer here. I love it. It is a great place to be. We are going to make our way down the staircase. This is the plan. And we are going to walk four coves going this way. So off the staircase, we're just going to keep on walking. It is, um, as you can see, a little muddy. And when I say a little muddy, surface mud. We're not going into the deep mud. If you choose to go into the deep mud, <laughs> well, I'm not following you in. So um, we are going to stay kind of on a path following the cliffs. And what we'll get is surface mud mostly. 
Um, I walk the beach every day, as you can see, and I don't wash my shoes. So just an example, because sometimes what scares people is people come up and they're, you know, mud to here and our hoses are right there to clean you off. Yeah, so that's how we find the four coves. It's about 750 meters, probably about half a mile, maybe a little less than that to walk to the end. Uh, we're going to give some, I'm going to give you some information kind of in all our different coves and our different areas uh, as we make our way along. But I'm going to start right here uh, because this is probably one of the best views of our Lover's Arch Rock. Didn't fall yet? I haven't fallen yet. You haven't tripped and fall? I've watched other people fall. The other people fell? No, Who fell? Oh. Some people were swimming. Swimming? Was people swimming in that? There you go. All right. You, know you are going to be my, my earth. You're going to be my earth. All right. You're going to be my moon. <laughs> Let's see, Earth, Moon, can sure. you be my son? All right, can you just I'm so bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just switching. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> we no have the Earth, we, and your name is? Adele. Adele. You are my moon? John, Adele, John, and Dan. Dan. Dan is our son. Okay, so this is how it works, and it's just a 101. And sorry if you already know this information. I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I think it's worth explaining how tides work. So, in this position of the constellation, this is a new moon. The sun is shining on the back side of the moon, and from Earth. We can't see it, so this is a new moon position. This is also when we tend to have our higher average tides. So, the moon is facing us, the earth, we're facing the moon, and the moon's gravitational force is creating a bulge in the earth's ocean. So, if you don't mind, Kind of <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bulge happening right in the ocean. So from the gravitational force, <laughs> not only the Successful. I'm just afraid that you're gonna slip and fall. That's why you wanted me out here where it's wetter. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Watch your step.
I got its nose. I finally got to see wildlife. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait until day 60. Is there a rinse? Is there a rinse station where the cars are parked? Pardon me? Is there a rinse station? A rinse station. Yeah. There is a bucket with a brush oh, and there's brush. brushes. Okay, brush. There. Sounds if like not, manual labor. There's the hoses at not the top of the, the staircase. Parked, the top of the staircase. Okay, oh. I think it is worth doing that little walk around to see those smaller flower pots. It is worth it. So whether you decide afterwards to walk up to the hoses yeah, we can, we walk or... Up. All right? Yeah, there's one there. Yeah. Well, it's not a hose. It's just a bucket of water. <laughs> oh. I got my size. That's what I'm doing. What? What? Just, just change your shoes. Throw your boots in the back of my truck, and I'll bring. No, them no, I, 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 I brought plastic bags. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you can. You know what? What our truck looks like, Ariel. No big deal if there's mud in the back. Of it. Like, don't feel like you're going to muddy it up. <laughs> I'm putting my boots in there. No, he was outside the other day, and he's under. Look at the back of your truck. It's not organizing things. Take a look at the back of ours, and he peeks through. Goes, oh, interesting. <laughs> He has his own organizational technique. It's not organized. <laughs> it's coming oh, in. It's coming in fast now. That's crazy. Now they got two people over here at the six minute rock. Yeah. 
The six minute rock. I do. Heather, uh, yeah. Yes, I do. Good. I love it. Good, good, good. I can't use any of this. There's a child over there. <laughs> I can't use any of this because Why? there's a child over there. Oh, you can just erase it. Don't call him a child. He acts like well. Mama. Now the children are. Now the child is gone. You can, you can erase. Okay, now the child's gone. So there. Yeah. <laughs> You lost it? Did it fall behind? Yep. Somebody picked it up. A young girl gave it to her. Yeah, lots of it went lying down there. Our window at home. It's endangered in New Brunswick. Well, it was. well, they can import it. I don't know what they can import. Immigration. Immigrate the, the falcon. in the park okay now I'm not joking it really really is so this little rock right here we call them the six minute rock all right so this little rock right here is a six minute rock as the tide comes in and you'll remember my story about when the tide comes in and we hit mid tide and the tide comes the bay is rising a foot every five minutes a foot a minute horizontally on the beach when the, when the tide reaches this, when the water reaches this rock, it's going to take six minutes, plus or minus two or three minutes, to reach the cliff right here, which basically blocks off our last home. So we have this by the minute today. There will be people, well, actually, I see the yellow, the yellow vest coming through here. We'll have people standing here from about 10, 15 on, 15 minutes before we think the rock, the, the tide will reach this rock. And so we'll start, we'll put one person here, we'll put one person at the top that's kind of keeping an eye on the six minute rock, and then we'll put somebody on the other side on the ledges. I'm just and playing in the mud. the start of our sweep. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, that, oh yeah, okay. Now it'll result in you. Water is at the six minute rock. So the people in there say, start going to be saying, okay, everybody, you got to head that way. You got five minutes. You got four minutes. You got three minutes. And so we have the time, people come out. 
I'm so glad we brought galoshes. Oh, they're always in the bed of the truck. We never know. That's a good idea. Do yes. I didn't. How come I'm messier than you are? What? I don't like that. How come I have more mud than you do? Because you're a muddier person. What I like about this one is you look at it from here. It's so nice, sweet, strong day. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> it does. Might be deceiving. It is. Okay, we're gonna try to eat here at Hopewell Rock Motel and Country Inn. The restaurant, <laughs> we drove by this late earlier and it was closed. So now it says open and fully licensed. That means that they serve alcohol. 